Well, folks, the Tony Awards were last night. I know you're real excited, weren't you? You, you weren't? You don't even know what they, what they are? They're, they're for theaters. They're, they're for like theater in, in, in New York. And a bunch of people, well, seven people watched them. And a bunch of theater artists who are left wing tell a bunch of other theater artists who are left wing a bunch of left wing things. And then they all clap. I am highly amused at the at the Tony Awards these days. So I'm a big fan of musical theater. Love musical theater. Okay, I grew up with my dad writing musicals. Uh, he he you know, was was very big into us listening to musical theater. And um, and so love the classics. Huge fan of Rodgers and Hammerstein and Stephen Sondheim and all the rest. Okay, but I'm I mean. How, the, the the Broadway industry has been super gay for a very, very long time, like a very long time, as in decades and decades and decades. In fact, West Side Story was written essentially by by several gay guys. You know, Arthur Lorenz wrote the, wrote the script, and then you had Stephen Sondheim doing the lyrics, Leonard Bernstein writing the music. The, there, there's nothing new about, about the Tony Awards being gay. And yet there was a, a very bizarre moment yesterday at the Tony Awards that actually I thought was rather hilarious when... A guy named Michael Arden, who directed the revival of Parade, recalled how he had um, been called bad words as a child. He said that he was called the F word as a child. And then he said, and now this F word has won a Tony. Growing up, I was called the F word more times than I can remember. And so, so keep raising your voices. Um, well, I mean, I, you mean a gay man won a Tony? No, no, sir, you shock me. A gay man winning a Tony, if a straight man won a Tony, that'd be a shock at this point. That wasn't the only bizarre moment at the Tonys last night. So there's a person named Danae Benton, who apparently was the star of uh, a, a musical that was based in part on War and Peace a few years back. And she decided that she was going to uh, level her guns at Ron DeSantis. Here we go. Earlier tonight, CMU and the Tony Awards presented the 2023 Excellence in Theater Education Award. And while I am certain that the current Grand Wizard, I'm sorry, excuse me, governor of my home state of Florida, will be changing. Oh, she's so, oh, whoa. Oh, so brave. Oh, the levels of bravery. Oh, my God. She said that Rhonda Sands in the KKK. Oh, she's so brave. And she said in front of a bunch of gay people in in New York. Oh, look at that. Whoa, they're so happy. She finally said it to all of her friends and allies who all agree with her. Oh, speaking truth to absolutely no power. Woo. That is that is some amazing stuff. Whoa. I, I love that. I love the outroar. Oh, my God. She said it. You're right. It's just like the KKK. You mean, wait, wait, just to get this clear. I want to be clear on this. Danae Benton, who's married to a white guy, by the way, that she is in Florida where the KKK is apparently in power, right? Governor DeSantis is the grand wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, according to this crazy lady. And she's intermarried with a white guy. And it's fine. No one cares. In fact, she has a great life. She's there at the Tony Awards. I don't think she knows anything about the KKK. I don't think she knows anything about history. I don't think she knows anything about DeSantis. The one bright spot I will say here is that as the left turns its sights from Trump to DeSantis, I am hopeful that people on the right will recognize that the, the left actually sees DeSantis as the real governing threat here, which is something people should keep in mind when they go to vote in the primary. It's time to talk to you about Daily Wire's most trusted privacy partner and premier sponsor of this show, ExpressVPN. When powerful interests want to push their agenda, they get big tech to silence any voice that does not fit their narrative. And then they make money off of you. For example, there's a major big tech service right now that is act actively attempting to kick off other Daily Wire hosts for the great crime of speaking truth on matters of transgenderism. Well, you don't have to give them your data. There's no reason they should gather your data and make money off of it. That's why I use ExpressVPN and you should as well. The problem with big tech is not only do they attempt to censor you, they track what you do online and they make money off of it. They use your data and then they sell it to advertisers. Hackers can gain access to it. They have a backdoor for government. When I use ExpressVPN, none of that is true. They can't see my IP address at all. My identity is anonymized by a secure VPN server. Plus, ExpressVPN encrypts 100% of my network traffic for protection from hackers and eavesdroppers. ExpressVPN is so easy to use. I love that no matter what device I am on, the app literally has one button. You tap it, you're protected. It is indeed that simple. Protect yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash Ben right now. Find out how you can get three extra months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash Ben, expressvpn.com slash Ben. Let's talk about how you save time and money at your business. So we run a business here. We can't afford to lose time. We can't afford to lose money. And this is why we use stamps.com. Stamps.com lets you print your own postage and shipping labels directly from your home or office. It's ready to go in just minutes. So you can get back to running your business sooner. 
Stamps.com offers rates you can't find anywhere else, like up to 84% off USPS and UPS. Plus, they automatically tell you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. For 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the shipping services you need to run your business right from your computer. No lines, no traffic, and no waiting. You can print postage wherever you do business. They even send you a free scale, so you'll have everything you need to get started. Here at Daily Wire, we don't waste our time, and you shouldn't either. You have a business. What are you wasting time and money for? Set your business up for success by getting started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code Shapiro for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and free digital scale. No long-term commitments, no contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click that microphone at the top of the page, enter code Shapiro, that's Stamps.com, enter code Shapiro to get started. So President Trump is now responding to the indictment. He responded over the weekend. And again, the political arguments that he is making are fine. I mean, they, they are they are totally well within the boundaries. I agree with many of them. And the notion that the weapons of law enforcement have been turned against him since he declared in 2015. I mean, that's obviously true. Also, when two things can be true at once. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. Also, just because they're out to get you doesn't mean that you should do dumb things that may be criminal. Like, that's just, it, it's not a smart thing to do. Don't, don't step on rakes. You know, th- does that mean that he should be prosecuted again for the 100th time? Hillary Clinton was not, so Donald Trump should not be. However, did Donald Trump create this wound for himself? He did. All he had to do was give the documents back. That's literally all he had to do. When the National Archives called up, he should have found, He should have figured, listen, there's a bunch of people in the deep state who hate my guts and they are waiting for me to screw up on this. Why don't I just give them back the documents? What is so vital in the documents that he cannot give them back? Why? Why? Like, that's the question people should be asking, especially going into Republican primaries. Like, is this the kind of judgment that you think is likely to be successful in waging an all-out battle? on behalf of American values, especially inside the deep state, is like the best thing that you can do to walk directly into a trap created by your political and legal opponents? Is that the smartest thing you do? Anyway, here is uh, President Trump. He was mocking the charges over the weekend. Donald Trump is indicted and they take one charge and they turn it into 36 charges. You saw that. Everybody was amazed. I'm an innocent man. We will prove that again. Seven years of proving it. And here we go again. Very unfair. And Trump also said that this has been great for his poll numbers, which it has been because the, the general rule is that when people feel that Trump is being victimized by the law enforcement apparatus, it's very good for his poll numbers inside the Republican Party. Now, is it good for his poll numbers in general? No. I mean, is it good? Is it going to be great for him in a general election? Presumably no, especially because there's every possibility that if he picks, if he gets a jury that is not friendly to him, he could theoretically get jail time. So we could have the historic opportunity to vote for a person who is currently sitting in prison when we uh, when when we vote in 2024. And I'll be honest with you, on, on like just a, on, a, on a sort of pure excitement level, my excitement for that would be really high. Now, I, again, do I think Trump should go to jail for this? No. What, if that happened, would it be one of the weirdest and most amazing things to happen in the history of the republic? Well, yeah. I mean, if one major republic, if the major political candidate taking on the current incumbent of the United States was sitting in jail and were voting for him, and then he had to pardon himself, that would be uh, fascinating. Be, I mean, we are living in a weird alternative universe uh, in, in which um, God's writing this season is very strange. It's, it's strange writing by God this, this season of Trump. We're in, we're in like season six of Trump and, and it's, it's, the writing has gotten a little bit, uh, it's a little bit wild. We're, we're close to jumping the shark in season six of, of Trump here. But in any case, uh, here was uh, President Trump talking about the poll numbers. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing for this country. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's driven my poll numbers way up. Can you believe this? I mean, driven his poll numbers way up among Republicans. So 80% of Republicans said they would vote for him even if he is in prison, which of course is correct. I mean, if he's the nominee, you're going to vote for Joe Biden? Does that guy seem like an upgrade to you? He's done a horrible job. However, here's the problem for him in a general election. Are you likely to be elected under that, under that position? No. According to a new ABC Post Trump indictment poll, 61% say document charges are serious, including 38% of Republicans and 63% of independents. Again, don't worry about what Republicans think and what Democrats think. Think about what, what independents think. Six, over six in 10 independents think these are serious charges against Trump. And when you look at the number who believe that Trump should be charged in this particular case, what you see is that 48% believe he should be charged and 35% believe he, he should not. His approval rating is currently at 31%. Are these numbers likely to go up or down as this case continues? It, probably they're not likely to go up. So this is the problem. It's also a problem for Republicans. Again, every day that Republicans spend talking about Trump's various activities, 
is the day they are not talking about Joe Biden's various activities and all the bad stuff that Joe Biden has done and the potential corruption that Joe Biden is embroiled in and the FBI whistleblower document that really should be the big story in the country. Alrighty, guys, the rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into some stuff I like and some things that I hate as well. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro. Check out for two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.